Hello everybody, Defense here, and uh, welcome to another episode here from Erlingrad. It is a bit rainy right now, but we are going to get started because really the only thing you can't do in this game in the rain is harvest. So, what I am hoping to do, I have a couple of plans today. So we're going to continue working on the agroforestry stuff that we talked about in the previous episodes. We're going to get the trees planted and possibly uh, the crop planted today as well. I'm going to look at it. I don't know what stage of growth it is currently in. So actually, you know, let's check that right now. I was making sure this field didn't need anything while we were heading down here. Let's uh, click back Oop, right here. Um, it is not done yet. So yeah, that's stage one. These look like they're in stage two. So we will end up having to sleep through the night. So we are pushing on. Oop, let's actually take the time up correctly. Yep, let's get this unfolded. But yeah, we are going to end up skipping through the night, which will, I think, end up kicking most of that to grown. Maybe. I don't actually know. But we'll be able to play around with it. I got to start over here. But yeah, I want to start getting this field planted while we are waiting. And I'm going to throw oats in here. Not for any particular reason. I just want, hey, oats sounds like a good plan. Let's get that down. Let's get it bead. And same thing, I'm going to start, I'll do this section. I may end up doing this whole field, but I really want to get the, uh, the trees and stuff done today so that we can really start getting them growing and not have to worry about it anymore, which would be really nice. I want to be able to get that. So one, it gives us something a little bit different to do. And two, it uh, gets us a little bit more money. Sorry, I was thinking what button I had to click. Can I make this turn? I can. Whoop. I'll probably have to come back over it in a second, but I think it'll be good. But yeah, I am actually recording this the day after Christmas, so I might as well ask, how did you guys enjoy your Christmas? Did you all have a good time? Did you get some cool stuff? If you did, feel free to let me know what your favorite gift was in the comments down below, because I am curious. Mine, uh, I actually got a violin for Christmas this year which I'm very happy about. I don't know if I've talked about it in videos, but I have talked about it in streams uh, where I've actually been teaching myself to play the piano lately. And this will be a cool, uh, cool mix. So I'll be uh, learning both of them. And it is actually funny. I ended up finding um, somebody on YouTube. I am drawing a blank on the name and I really apologize. But I was looking up how to set up my violin because it does not come with the bridge attached. It just comes in the pack. So... I ended up having to put the bridge in myself and I was make I was looking at a YouTube video to make sure I was doing it all right and then tune it and everything and found out that the person I found for the tuning on the violin teaches violin on YouTube and teaches uh, piano as well. So that'll help a bunch because I have been, I wouldn't say I've been struggling on the piano, but I don't know which direction to go and that's kind of been my issue. But Enough about music. We're here for farming. But yeah, feel free to share what your favorite uh, gift was down, favorite gift that you got and or gave was down below. But yeah, we should, uh, you know what? I am going to do this field. Let me get some music going. I think it'll be good. So we're going to get some tunes on and I am going to speed it up. <laughs> So all of the oats are now planted, which is nice. We're doing a little bit of fertilizing now. 
that is the honestly the only thing that I don't really like about this uh, cedar here is that it doesn't fertilize while it plants but this here does a good enough job where I don't really worry about it so I can't really complain it's pretty nice but as you can see I messed up on spacing again because I don't actually know the spacing on this this one actually lined up really well I'll take it we are gonna end up having some overlap which happens you know as I said I'm not too too worried about it but yeah we are getting on in the day so what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up this we're gonna head to the store to buy the new piece of equipment we're gonna need to do some planting today uh, or technically tomorrow but uh, and hopefully we'll be able to plant uh, when it does come to morning I don't know for sure though but we'll have to see at what growth stage the oilseed radish is at and that'll kind of help us decide what we're gonna do uh, there we go I think I lined it up good enough uh, I'm not going obviously if we miss a couple spots on this it's fine but yeah, as I was saying, we're going to be picking up a new planter today. Uh, I don't know. If, well, it could be considered a planter or a cedar. I don't know technically know what it's called. But I'll show you guys it while we're there. It is a mod. Uh, it is going to be very useful. And it is very inexpensive. Uh, it only plants one crop type. So we'll be able to see that in just a moment. But we are just about finished here. Yeah, I did miss that spot and then the strip at the end. So we might as well just touch them up. I didn't miss as much as I thought. And I almost did the field perfect, so I'm happy about it. I'm getting more used, more used to the um, the spread range of this thing, so I can't really complain too too much about it. Let's think, that's that. Over here, let's try just like this. Eh, a little off, but it's fine. Link. Honestly, it'll probably be easier to just drive in a straight line down this thing, but there we go. Let's just do this. <laughs> yes, again, it is a waste, and yes, we are fertilizing the neighbor's field, and he's not paying us for it, but it's fine. I drive across their crops all the time, so I'm sure they won't mind too, too much about me doing this. So what I am going to do is we're just going to drop this off here. I will grab it uh, at some point. Probably, I don't actually know. I might do it just before the time skip, so we'll see what's up. And actually, I might be able to just put this item on the front. It is small enough. Obviously, I can't use it on the front, but it'll be nice to have. So, the thing I am planning on planting, whoop, that's a trash barrel, is potatoes. And I know, I know, I talked about how I didn't want to do potatoes because they're annoying, but in large quantities, they're annoying. And I think this will be a fun way to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here. We're going to hop into Potato Tech. Uh, we are going to end up having to buy this no matter what. So I'm going to end up having that. And this is going to be my harvester. So this front piece here, this just gets rid of, uh, it cuts the tops off. This will harvest it. And then this is going to be my planter. Uh, it is kind of inexpensive, uh, but... I just don't have the money for this right now. I do want to upgrade because, as I said, this is this is small. You know, I'm going to show you guys, like, this isn't very big. You know, it's a, it's a rather small setup, but I think it'll work nice. Um, let's bump the capacity up as high as it'll go. Uh, we'll keep it at gray, even though it looks more like white. Yeah, we'll just keep it at that. Uh, and yeah, capacity's maxed, and this will cost me thirteen hundred bucks. Again, its capacity may be maxed, but it doesn't hold a lot. It only holds three seventy. So, yeah, it's a bit on the small side. So let's see. Can I hook it to the front? Whoop! That's a car. <laughs> don't worry, they don't mind. They never show up to pick up their vehicles anyway. Yeah. So that'll be nice. We'll be able to transport this. But yeah, I think what we're going to do now, guys, is I am going to speed up time over till morning. And I'll see you guys once we're there. Hopefully we'll be able to get some planting done. Well, I did forget about one thing overnight, guys. And that's weeds. So the oilseed radish didn't seem to grow any weeds, which I am perfectly fine with, to be honest. But it does look like the oats started up some weeds. So I'm going to set a worker over there and then I'm just going to forget about it.
I think that sounds about good, right? <laughs> so we're gonna do that because, as I said, I wanna. I'm. I'm getting this stuff done. I wanna get these trees in. Uh, I am gonna have to buy. I should have grabbed the other tractor because this one's the one with the front end loader. But I'm sure we could get the uh, the 20 trees planted fine. I think it's 20 saplings. I'd have to double check, but I'm pretty sure it's 20 saplings. And if need be, I'll just come over here, stop the work, or steal this and go from there. Uh, yes, you don't put this on the front, by the way. I just did it because it's easier to grab it out of the uh, shed that way. So, we have these here. And let's put this down. Yoink. Looper around. So, yeah, this is the weeder. As I said, I've talked about it in the past. Yeah, you get it done faster with, like, sprayable herbicides because you can cover a larger area. But uh, you only have to pay for this once. What am I doing? <laughs> My brain just don't want to work right now. All right, go. Just bump it, and there we go. I might actually, I think there might be a job next door. Let's take a look. Oh, that's not supposed to be on normal. Oh, it's supposed to be on slow. That's probably why we got so much growth. 22. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll get some more contracts in a little bit. All right, let's fold this out. Get a worker on it and get going. Because I want to start getting these trees planted. I want to start making it so I can buy actual, like, tree equipment and not just, you know, be doing this stuff. All right, let's hop over here. Yank, where am I going? Over here. Our chickens did some eggs. I think it's about 1,300 eggs right there. Or 1,300 liters of eggs right there. Uh, what's the button on this? R. So now we have this here. Well, that's funny. We can't put it here. <laughs> All right. So backpack. I have 10 fir trees. Uh, activate hand tool. Okay. It's pretty easy. We're literally just going to click and go. So. Wow. You move pretty slow. So what I think we're going to do. Excuse me. Oh, okay. Disappeared. Um, one. Whoop. You have to hold it. I thought you just clicked. <laughs> it would make sense, though. Oh. And it tells me how far away. Is there, like, a better green? Nah. I think we'll do... Let's go for 10 meters. Just about. Yeah, we'll place them 10 meters apart. I don't know how well this is going to line up. Obviously, after doing this first section, we'll know for the next. But you can actually plant them pretty close doing this. Ooh, no. Bad. There we go. 10 meters. I think it'll look pretty cool doing it this way. And boom. And for those who don't know, trees are actually worth a boatload of money when you let them grow. So I am happy to be giving this a try. I do kind of wish I had measured things out a little bit better. Uh, we are pretty far off when it comes to, uh, in my opinion, a bit of a waste of space here. But I think once we get this next crop harvested, we can do it a little bit better and run it a bit closer to the trees on these inner paths. Um, I probably should have planted the trees first in one row and then gone off of that. Because for whatever reason, I thought you needed a lot more space. And honestly, I could keep them this big. Like the, the sets here, and then just kind of stagger the trees. So like have like a tree here, and then like a tree here, and here. And that way we'd still run the 10 meter difference. Oh wow, I am going really far off the side here. <laughs> uh, I lost my measurement. Uh, that looks to be about 10 meters. Oh, it's because I look too far up. Yeah, there's probably some optimal tree placement. Uh, I honestly don't know. This is my first time actually planting trees in Farming Sim. As far as I can remember, I think I may have done it when I first started playing using like a tree planter. Uh, but I didn't really do much with it. Aside from that, and that was like one of my first playthroughs I ever did. Uh, wasn't recorded or anything, that was just a uh, me gaming back in the day. How many of these do I got left still? Okay, I am out, but I can get 
You know what? I probably should have done that. Planted the first tree and then run down the field. So we get five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Looks like we can get about fourteen more trees, which is nuts. We can get a lot more trees in here than I thought, spacing them out at 10 meters. I may have to get a flatbed trailer and uh, pick up a bunch. Where did all my... Oh, I forgot the overnight cost. I forgot about the leasing costs overnight. <laughs> I was like, where did all my money go? But yeah, let me do that. I think I'm going to have to get... Yeah, we're going to have to get a flatbed trailer uh, and get, I think, a decent number of trees. The problem is, I think they're a thousand bucks a pallet. Yeah, so... I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. We might have to pick up a job or two. But yeah, this will get me 20 each. Um, and we already did 10 and can fit another 14. So it's 24 per row. So it's 20, 40, 60, 80. Plus 16, 96. Uh, 110. That seems like way too many trees. But I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> uh, which I can't afford, by the way. Um... Because that's five and a bit sapling sets. Actually, I still have half one. So, yeah, it is going to be five. So, let me see if I can get a plan set up for this. Because I'm definitely not going to be able to buy a flatbed with only 4000 bucks. So, uh, I'm going to step away and figure out what we're going to do. <clears throat> Alright, guys. I've come up with a uh, an idea. At least I've made a decision. Uh, I... I'm going to just take out a little bit of extra money. I didn't really want to have to take out more money because we do already have a $100,000 loan on us. But uh, we should really do it. To, you know, let's go for 20k. What's 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 20k when we already owe 100,000? We easily paid off our last loan, so I am not too too worried about it, but since we have done that, what we're going to do, and I'm really kind of annoyed that I ended up selling this trailer back because I knew I was going to end up being able to use it. Uh, nope, too far. That one there. We're going to buy this guy up for 6 k It's the least expensive flatbed uh, that I have seen, and it's a nice one. You know, I used it. It's got a lot of configuration options, too, so I can use it as a secondary trailer for a lot of other stuff. It's just, uh, you know I'm going to just put that right there for now. And we're going to need... I, re I really wanted to get bees going today, but that's a little bit on the expensive side as well. Um, I want one of these. So that way I can start throwing my eggs in. That costs 1k. I did just grab a new mod, by the way, guys. I am completely drawing a blank on what it's called, but it allows you to get up to 10 of a pallet at once. Uh, obviously the price goes up each time it goes up by its normal value, which is pretty nice. I am very happy with that. So what I can do here is I am actually just gonna buy, mm, so if I do that, actually, you know what? Yeah, there's 20 in each. I was thinking 10, so that's 120 right there. That should easily be enough. You know, we'll just do this. If I need more, I'll come back for more. I think that'll be a good way to do it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all this loaded up. Now that you guys know what the plan is, we're going to do that. And then I am going to go and I don't really know how I'm going to do the time lapse because it is first person and first person time lapses look a little weird. But I am going to time lapse it and see how I feel about it. Uh, and we will go from there. So let me get this loaded up. I'll get that. I'll get this. And then we do have a thing of lime sitting on the other side of the, the road over there. And we're going to throw all that on the trailer and bring it on home. It did 
it helped me notice how uncentered everything was. But I think it's a start. It'll also mean that I'll be able to maybe plant farther over. I am undecided. I don't know how close to the trees I want to get. So we'll have to play around with that. But yeah, so far it's looking good. I am very happy with it. We, we do still have a lot of trees to get done. So it's, it's going to be a good amount of trees. And I think, as I said, I think it'll end up looking real nice. We'll be able to get a lot in here. And it'll be a decent amount of money. Yes, we did have to take a loan out to do this. But as I said, lumber's worth a good amount. And the chickens have started producing eggs. And I don't really mind. As I said, I don't really mind taking out the loan. Because we paid off that 250000 last time, no problem. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, I don't want to take out another 250000 uh, Because that kind of defeats the purpose. But I think with everything we're going to be doing, I'll easily be able to afford to pay off pretty much any, almost any loan we take out, you know, and still have plenty of money to move on in the future. So whoop, I need more. Swing on over here. Yeah, as you could probably have seen, I uh, wasn't paying attention and when driving and forgot to uh, strap down the load. So there are a couple of boxes of trees chilling down over there. Which is kind of a bummer, but, you know, I had them on there real nice. And now they're on the ground. <laughs> but, as I said, I think it'll work. Uh, I do want to... I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to finish out this row at least. And then I want to check at um, what I have left for recording time today. I don't actually know what time it is right now and what it's going to take editing-wise. So, I think... Well, how far through this are we? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a look at that real quick. And then I will see. We'll probably still end up finishing this row no matter what. But I want to see what I have left for uh, like work, work time today. So give me one second. And I will be right back. Okay, so it looks like I'll have plenty of time to finish up this row. Which will be nice. Ooh, that one was a perfect 10. Haha. <laughs> it's been pretty... I think I did that a couple of times so far. Which has been nice. But yeah, I'm very happy with this. Uh, I don't remember... Even if I get a thousand per tree, we're gonna make a boatload of money. So I bought five, so technically six, because I already had one. So that's 120 trees. So, you know. I don't I don't think we'll get a thousand per tree, but actually, you know what? We can look at that right now. Hold on. I don't remember how they actually lay out the tree on this. Yeah, so it looks like it's about a hundred bucks per. I don't actually know how they denote the tree. I don't know if you can do thousand liter of tree, uh, but per like straight length cut. So, uh, I think we'll make a good amount of money back. As I said, even if it's you know it's twelve k, which is not bad, but you know, I doubt it's gonna be that. We'll probably get about three hundred per tree. So, I think it'll be good. We'll get about forty k. Once we cut all the trees down, uh, we're not actually going to end up planting them all at once. It'll just be this row and the previous row, uh, and then I'll just kind of add a row every couple of uh, every couple of episodes. Uh, well, maybe every episode. I don't actually know yet. I will have to figure it out as we go. Let's see. Let's grab uh, some of these real quick. Link. There we go. But yeah, we'll be able to, I think we'll make a good money off of this. And then, um, I also want to do washed potatoes. So I don't know if you got, you guys probably saw the price for that over here. So these are sorted potatoes. So potatoes, actually, you know what, it might be better to, no, it's washed and then sorted. So you have your regular potato price, which is, where's potatoes at? Right here. Uh, best price is 406 bucks per thousand liters. Uh, you throw them in the washer, you can get 450. You sort them, you can get... Uh, 850 so by washing and sorting you uh, just about double the price which is very nice and on top of that so you have that and then there's also a byproduct of sorting them which is pig food so I think we'll build up a large supply of spare pig food to feed the pigs in the future uh, because I think pigs would be fun the reason a lot of a lot of people don't like pigs because pig food is really expensive don't get me wrong pigs can eat pretty much everything in the game um but 
you know, people don't really want to feed their pigs that stuff. So, if I can get a bunch of spare pig food from uh, washing and sorting potatoes, we'll definitely end up getting pigs. So, I'm hoping to eventually have all five animals. Um, I don't know on horses. Horses are worth a lot of money, but they take up a lot of time, which isn't bad. You know, I don't really mind the, the time bit. But I've never really, I've worked with horses very little. And I know there is an option through global companies to have a horse trainer. Uh, but I feel that's kind of like the easy way out. And I don't really want to take it that far. Yeah, I know I'm playing with a bunch of mods that do a lot of different stuff. But, you know, at some point, you kind of just got to draw a line. And I think having, you know, a worker do something for me that does nothing but increase value. I don't want to do that. It's kind of like having... Uh, in my opinion, like one of the windmills or something just kind of sitting around making me like $500 an hour. You know, uh, it's cool. It's nice to have, but I don't want it. <laughs> so that's uh, kind of how I feel on it. But yeah, horses are a bit of work. Cows, it's just the TMR. You know, we'll have to get a bunch of hay straw. Uh, that's good. What's going to be going right here is uh, the, what you call it? Um, bale shed. We're gonna put a bale shed here. It'll be hay, straw, and then I'll probably put. I don't know. I was gonna do like a silage stack. I will uh, probably a bunker to be honest, and I may end up putting the bunker like right there. So yeah, it'll be right next to my house, but I think it'll be fine. So, I think that'll be good for today. I don't actually know how this works. I thought I could just put these egg eggs in the crate, but it's closed off. So I don't actually know. This one's still filling up. So we'll see. Oh, actually, what? Why does that not have all of them in it? 70. Okay, so yeah, this has got all its eggs, 100%. And then this one's still filling because it was at 50% earlier. So I think once this is filled, it should start filling into that. I don't actually know. But we'll play around with that outside. That's another mod that I grabbed a little while back. But yeah, this will be good. We've got a new field planted. We have all of this growing in. As I said, I got to double check what its growth stage is because I think it only technically has two Oop, wrong button um, and it goes I can't remember if it stops at this or if it does jump to this as its final growth stage I'll have to double check on all seed radish as I said I've never really used it before so that is something I will figure out between episodes but I want to thank you for stopping in I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and I hope you guys are looking forward to all the other stuff we're going to be doing. We got the agroforestry. We're going to do some potatoes. I am going to have to set up an area for that uh, because we have to wash the potatoes. Uh, I'm going to dump them out and then we'll set them up into sorters. I'll probably end up doing that off the back here, closer to this here. I want to put, same thing, I want to put up a little shed and we're probably going to end up taking out a loan for that. Uh, I know I, I just talked about taking out loans, but if I can take out a loan to get all that in, uh, it's going to pay itself off real fast, and it's going to be nice to be able to do, so I'm not too, too worried about it. The only thing I need is potatoes, water, um, and as I said, I do want to do a building, but I don't really have to do a building. Uh, what's it under? Is it under global companies? Yeah. So it's only 20k to get started. usually want two to three of these per one of these, but um, I'll see how it fits. And as I said, I do want to throw down like a shed of some form around it. I just haven't decided which one and I don't need it huge probably like this one will probably be fine because we'll have the washer here it'll have something to load in and then I'll have it uh, empty onto a conveyor belt and kind of dump over towards the sorters so we'll have to look into all of that but there are plenty of options for sheds uh, I just don't know what I want to do so as I was saying that's going to be it for me today I hope you did enjoy and uh, I hope you have a nice night day morning evening Whatever it is, wherever you are, this is my defense. I hope to see you again soon. Peace.